everybody. It is Wednesday, the 3rd of April, and about 20 past 8 in the morning. So I thought I'd pop on with my update of, of what I've been doing. I actually got to crochet on my shawl a little bit this morning. I didn't get to it last night round like I hoped. So this is the, it's not Amigurumi, but this is the um, Yvette Granny Shawl by Laurel of the Dabbling Hook. Um, please go over and check her out. I'll link to uh, the pattern below. Um, so yeah, I really, I was like, I want to do some granny. Hey, I can take that swimming. Yay. I was thinking what I'm going to take with, to swimming with me tonight. Because Amis aren't always the easiest to take if they're little ones. Because you, you need all the bits or you're working through it quickly. Or at the minute, because I've no ink in my printer, you need your laptop with you for the pattern. I need to print so many patterns, it's ridiculous. And I don't work somewhere that you can print at anymore. <laughs> we, we don't, we're a very paperless company, very paperless. So, so much so you accidentally print to the printer instead of to the upload system. Who's printed? Yeah. I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> So yes, I need to get some ink for my printer. And Jack's got the class bear at the minute. I keep saying, can you take a picture? Can you print a picture? I'm like, we have no ink. Well, can you go and get ink? I'm like, well, no, not really. We can't afford it this month. You know, it's the end of the month. So it's the end of our pay month. I'm like, no, we can't. Well, but you've got, we're millionaires apparently, according to Jack. So we should just go and get him ink because he wants this picture of his bear. Anywho, tangent, sorry. Um, yes, so I've got my shawl. I can take that to swim in tonight. Excellent, yay. Um, I finished another Ami. It is the Vox Fox. Let me bring my laptop. Can you see that? The hair sticking on my laptop, how weird. Uh, Vox Fox. And you can get it in Dutch or English. Turns out I had a copy in Dutch. So when I went to open it up yesterday, I was like, uh, yeah, I think I need to go and download the English version, which I did. It's a free pattern. Uh, it's very cute. You want to see? And look at how sweet the little face is. There's his tail. It makes me, uh, I think, deep down, I'm like, I wanted to make it because it makes me think of uh, Tails from Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. So there are a few bits to sew on. Um, so you got the four feet, which... Oh, look a bit weird. Um, you have to do the, sew the ears on, sew the tail on. So a bit of sewing if you're not sewing inclined. It might not be the one for you or it might not be the one to make in any great number. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll make more or, or what. But isn't it sweet? So cute and super quick. So as for today's Amigurumi, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might have a quick look now. Uh, I might consult my list. Where is my list? This corner is just full of my stuff. And so it should be. Oh, Paul's like, can you clean your corner? Yep. I'm not such a horrid wife, honestly. But I'm just like, leave my stuff alone. It doesn't bother you. It's not doing anything. Okay, so maybe it should be the baby Mike and Sully. Because I have been saying I'm going to make baby Mike and Sully for years and haven't. So maybe I need to pull that yarn out and do that. I will go and do that, I think. So I'll leave it here. I need to go and get some wool out. I need to start getting the kids ready for school. They are, I think they've got the paint sticks out at the minute. They did say this morning, can we have the paints out? I went, no, are you insane before school? No, no. Um, oh yeah, and then they told me that we've got no printer paper left because they, instead of using all of the, the scrap paper I used to bring home from my other job that did print and did waste paper, I've still got a huge stack of it, um, instead of using that to draw on, they draw on all the printer paper. Now we have no printer paper. And no ink. <laughs> so he's doubly out of luck, isn't he? Can I have this picture? No, because you've got nothing to print it on now. Anyway. I'm going to go finish my tea. I've got Earl Grey this morning. Um, in my rapidly decreasing stash of mugs, the kids are out to get my mugs. Tobin was trying to get some golden syrup out of the cupboard on Monday morning. And you know when you say, don't do that, 
at the precise second they do something. You're like, that's going to break. Um, as I was saying, please don't do that. He managed to knock a jar of pesto out of the cupboard with the golden syrup. So the pesto landed on one of my mugs. Smashed. The jar of pesto smashed. It cracked all the top of my mug, so that had to go in the bin. And the pesto went all over my work clothes. That was a good start to Monday morning. I just stood there, I got glass in my wrist, in my in my arm, cut my finger. And everything stunk of pesto, including me. <laughs> so my top that I'd had on for all of like five minutes, I had to go straight in the wash. I then had to clean up a jar full of pesto that had gone everywhere, over the floor, to clean the worktops. Oh. All the time Tobin was panicking that I'd been hurt by the glass and I was worried that someone else had got glass in him. How it was only me that got the brunt of it, I think it's because I was trying to stop it falling. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, too late. Too late! Um, fun times. So yes, I am down to three of these pretty, pretty mugs, so I might have to find some more on Amazon or something. Although Paul will say, why do you need six of them? Well, good guests and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will pop back later and tell you what I've been up to. I may not get a great deal done before I come back to see you because I've got work and the gym and picking the kids up and then it's back up to swimming. But on the plus note, huge plus note, that video that I uploaded yesterday took like no time at all to process or whatever through iMovie. It was brilliant. It took longer to sort out all the links to put on... Um, my website and on the, the video because it's, you don't control and see to copy stuff you have to press a different key you have to press a command key on the Mac keyboard so I kept thinking I was copying stuff and I wasn't and then I wasn't pasting it and I was like ah um, and all the time the kids were like behind me have you done yet have you done yet have you done I'm like, go away <laughs> stop breathing down my neck and then like the instant I moved, they were on it. And then Paul got home and he was on it. He was still on it, getting on for 10 o'clock last night. Oh, I just did this. Oh, I don't have to get off the computer. Paul's like, are you going on the computer tonight? No, I've done my video. Oh, I'll go on it then. I don't know what he would have done if I'd have said, yes, actually, I want to. Probably pouted, I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to go and get them sorted, pull my yarn out and... Um, plan what I'll do later. So I'll come back and let you know what I've been up to. Um, yeah, so see you in a moment. Bye guys. Hello, I'm back. Um, it is nearly three o'clock. It's three minutes to three in the afternoon. I'm home. Um, excuse me, I didn't end up going to the gym because they put temporary traffic lights up at the roundabout that goes on to our estate and down to the leisure centre and it took me quite a while to get through and I thought if because it's three-way traffic and I thought if this is this bad now come school time when I'm heading back from the gym it's gonna be horrid so I came home and I did um, some aerobics instead which is why I'm a little bit rosy uh, I do um, I used to do a lot of Davina um, workout DVDs and I really like them and I highly recommend them, she's very good um, when I first had Tobin um, that was they were the DVDs I did and I lost two and a half stone just working out at home and then by the time I had Jack it was getting harder and harder to actually work out at home because I'd always get distracted and find other things to do and uh, you know, so I joined the gym and I did it for a year um, and lost, I don't know how much weight then, um, but I only had it for the year, so uh, I tried to go back to working out at home, and it's just not as, as doable when you've got the two kids. I'm sure if I'd have been a lot more uh, strict with myself, I probably could have, but I've been back at the gym for a couple of years now. Excuse me, that teeth made me burp, um, but I think uh, the gym... And having a, a going out of the house is a lot better for uh, my mental health sometimes. Just go and blast it out and you're not surrounded by whatever's stressing you out. You know, go get it done. They have nice showers as well, so that's, you know, that helps too. Um, 
Anyway, what am I talking about? Yes, I did aerobics. <laughs> so today I did uh, Gillian Michaels 30 Day Shred. Uh, it's quite an old one. Um, and I did level two, just because that's where it was on the, on the, like, I put it on the USB stick, so where it was in the, in the file. Um, I did it from there. I'm going to ache tomorrow. My shoulders are going to hurt. Possibly my legs too. Lots of um, squats and raising your arm up with weights and it's all here. You're like, Argh! it hurts. But it's some activity, it's some cardio, burnt some calories. My stomach is rumbling because I've not eaten anything since my breakfast biscuits I had at work. I have them at lunch so because I can't really, I don't get a break so I don't leave my desk to go and I used to just eat cereal ow, ow my hand hurt then go and eat cereal at uh, the old job the cat on our driveway it's a beautiful cat and we try and talk to it and it just stares at us just like yeah <laughs> just saying hello anywho I'm going to keep waffling and I need to drink my tea really quick <laughs> it's what you need after a workout isn't it oh cup of tea can't help myself. I'm like, Ooh, I've got 25 minutes. I can drink a cup of tea, whether I should or not. But we're going swimming. Tim's got a swimming lesson. So I won't get tea, a cup of tea, until I don't know. But it's, you know, it's risky business. I don't want to go from like 11 o'clock till maybe 6 o'clock with that cup of tea. People could get hurt. <laughs> anyway, this horrid bright green thing that's blowing out is the start of Mike Wazowski. Baby Mike. Oh my gosh. As if Mike could get any better. They made a baby fish. Oh my God, I love him. I love him so much. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like four rows. And I've been, Paul's been emailing me and I've been messaging my sisters and one of them's asked me for ideas. I went, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So I went back with very good suggestions. Bourbon, or beer, or um, a, a, a voucher for the range so I can go and buy some more. I don't know, I'm rubbish at birthday things. I would say go and buy me some, you know, wool from Aldi or something, but I don't particularly, you know, I didn't buy much myself, so I don't want her to go and buy me stuff that I don't know what to do with, or... <laughs> Like that matters but you know what I mean I don't want to if I've got something specific in mind then I might as well you know, wall wise I might as well tell her that my blanket yarn <laughs> I want all the blanket yarn I'm like a obsessed anywho I shall probably leave it here unless I have something to come back and show you but I don't think so because it will be get the kids get home get the swimming bag packed after a great deal of shouting Jack gets his little snack ready. He usually takes like crackers and cheese or something and his a little bottle of drink and his tablet, his headphones and he gets all set up. Oh, the kid has got it sussed. Um, and I'll get my headphones and my shawl that I'm going to go and crochet. That's it. I've watched Kim's video today. Hi, Kim. Um, super. Love it. I love those little parakeets. They're so cute. I don't know that... I don't know if they'd sell here, but they might be worth looking at just to have a go at. And what else has she done? Oh, no, drawn a blank. Oh, a hedgehog. I like those hedgehogs, aren't they cute? When I was at the, um, I did some for the Christmas craft fair and a lady bought a hedgehog for her pet hedgehog. I was like, that's so cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go because the secondary school kids are all coming past so it's a sure sign I need to get my shoes on and go and get the kids we kick out a bit earlier cause loads of problems with the traffic <gasps> woman driving past on a phone oh, naughty I just sit in the window and stare at people all day <laughs> she's doing something wrong she's doing something wrong what's he wearing <laughs> people watching eh right I'm going to go um, so this may be it for the day I will try and get something finished tonight i'm not putting the kids to bed and i've got sewing b to watch from yesterday nobody tell me no spoilers i didn't watch it um yeah so i'll love you and leave you unless i'm back again but i'll still love you then um so i will talk to you tomorrow bye guys